I'm from um, Tennessee, Knoxville. Uh, Desilles University, University students. Uh, New York City. I'm from the Boston area. The University of Connecticut. In Pennsylvania. At Rice University. We are from the Netherlands, Amsterdam. The Silva is famous by its great biodiversity and that's what brings most people here. There's a lot of things to see. When our professor came here a couple years ago, he really liked it, so he decided he wanted to come back and show us the biodiversity of the rainforest. Just since I got involved with Earthwatch, and they had this wonderful caterpillar study here in La Selva. And so I you know, wanted to get more skills going into graduate school with how to do research in the field. Our professor yeah. said it's his favorite place. So. And sloths. And sloths. <laughs> I do a lot of birding in, in Central Park. And of course, birders talk and... Uh, uh, that's why we came to Costa Rica, to, to bird watch. The main groups we have are uh, students, researchers and tourists. We have a lot of different kinds of people and, and it's really nice to talk with them, to learn about different cultures. And, and just the keen interest and intense um, love of the earth and the caring about the earth and so they're all doing these individual studies um, that might seem totally unrelated but a lot of them are pointing to some of the same answers. But just seeing so many different people from so many different walks of life all doing science in the same place is really great. We met already caterpillar investigation in people who investigates caterpillars and uh, okay yeah and all fish people investigating fishes We have researchers who came to La Selva for a project and at a certain point they actually uh, met a, a person here, a Costa Rican person, and they uh, get married and they have kids, so they actually move here and it's, it's a family. Without forests we cannot live, so it's that easy. So we need forests or we will die. We need to preserve the forest, but we also need to understand it. Well, without uh, preserving it, we lose, I mean, you convert it to cattle pasture, you lose 95% of the diversity like that. And so if we don't preserve it, it won't be around for the next generation to see, it won't be around for us to continue to see, and it's also just important because we're not the only living important species on this planet. Destroying a place like this is like burning down a gigantic library with thousands of books that you've never read. And we are destroying ecosystems over the whole planet, and we don't really know what we're destroying. I think that's the bottom line, although it, just gaining basic knowledge about the, the world in which you live is something that we should all want to know, right? Couldn't have said it better. Whether you know, reptile, amphibian, birds, mammals, you know, plants, and uh, this place has it all. Because not everyone have to like the forest, but uh, those who do, I am sure they will love this place.